From day one, they held the power, ran the house, and controlled each and every eviction. But tonight, for the first time this summer, a veteran will be sent packing. Welcome to Big Brother. Big Brother, with the veterans against her, your idiotic plan got outed. Danielle beat the odds by winning the head of household. And she's back in the game, folks. Knowing they were a target, Jeff and Jordan struck a deal. I could not go after YouTube this week. In return, if I could just have one week of a truce from you guys next week. If you're offering a deal to us, I'll take it. And Danielle set her sights on the other power couple. Brendan and Rachel, I have nominated the two of you for eviction. But at the veto competition, Brendan was an ace in the hole. Yeah! And he concocted a plan to throw off Danielle. So I'm going to be using the power field. Well, what's going on with the deal? Are you using it yourself? Hell yeah. Everyone in the house thinks I'm going to be using the power field on myself. But I'm actually going to be using it on Rachel. Worried about making another enemy, Danielle looked for a pawn to put on the block. Putting you up to Brendan is pretty much a guarantee that you would stay in the house. Right. Anyone would be a complete moron not to vote her out. At the veto meeting, Brendan surprised everyone. I decided to use a power veto on my fiance, Rachel. Danielle chose her pawn. I'm gonna have to ask her to please do this. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Jordan or Brendan? And who will become the new head of household? Plus, tonight, a special appearance from Evil Dick. Dick was still in the house. How did you get Completely. It all happens live right now on Big Brother. There's <laughs> that chivalry is not dead. After Brendan and Rachel were put on the block by their former ally, Danielle, Brendan battled to win the power of veto. But instead of removing himself, Brendan shocked the house and put his game on the line, taking his fiance, Rachel, off the block. Danielle then put up Jordan as a pawn with the hopes of sending Brendan home. But history has not been kind to the pawn, and with the former Big Brother winner on the block, anything can happen. So. Who will leave the house tonight? We'll soon find out. Please take a seat. This veto meeting is adjourned. Using the power of veto on Rachel really is a no-brainer for me. I mean, relationships are about sacrifice, and I am more than happy to do this for the girl I love. I think I'm uh, a lot better off than Rachel would be sitting in the same spot. Curveball root. All of my big brother dreams have finally come true. With Brendan up on the block, kind of obvious who needs to go. People aren't threatened by Jordan. And then there's Brendan who wants to trample over old women and babies to get to prizes, so. Eh. You're a good man. I'm not surprised that Danielle put Jordan on the block against Brendan. She has a much better chance of staying in this house as opposed to putting me up on the block. I just have to lay low and ensure that Jordan's safety is good. Oh. Against Brendan, I feel like I have more people on my side. But I hope they do tell me if they're going to evict me. Because I bought an eviction dress and I would be so mad if I wear something else. And then I do get evicted and I don't get to wear that dress. Oh, I hate Danielle. The thought of being in the Big Brother house without Brendan is just so hard. We work so well together. We are like the most dynamic duo. It's really hard to think that I have to do this without him. It, it just sucks. Brendan leaves, I do not know how I'm going to deal with Rachel. When there's no Brendan in his house and she's whining and screaming his name and every piece of fruit and vegetable that she looks at reminds her of Brendan, I'm going to rip my hair out. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of happy. There's no words. I'm not afraid of Rachel in this game. But Brendan, I'm afraid of. I need Brendan out of this house. If Jordan ends up leaving, 
I am in deep trouble. There's seven votes. I have Kalia, Lawan, and Jeff for sure. My goal right now is just to make sure I have the rest of the newbies against Brendan and Rachel. So the hope is things continue to go this way. We need to get each other. voting for Brendan because I'm close with Rachel and Rachel's gonna go crazy if I don't vote for him. So Adam, you keep Brendan and I here. We'll keep you safe the rest of the summer. Keeping Brendan here keeps the bigger target in the game so you're not gonna be targeted. Yeah, I will be good for more for the time that I know. Everyone that she's been close to, she's screwed over. Right. At one point or another. Being close to her is like, you might as well put yourself on the block. But, Jordan and Jeff, what, 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 does, should Rachel come after you for voting me out? Where are the votes right now? How many do you need? Two more. Finish four. So it could be four, three? Adam, me, Portia, Rachel. I've been riding both sides of the house. Right now, I gotta figure out where I'm going this week. What's gonna be the best move for Shelly to get to the end of the game? Each week, the decision is harder and harder. And until I make the toys with North Pole, it's a lot easier than playing Big Brother. Danielle's campaigning to make sure we keep Jordan. How I'm gonna vote, I still don't know. I'll listen to anybody's reason, but I'll make my own decision. Where's Rachel? In the DR. In the diary. I'm probably in that wall with the eyes out. Portia is really good friends with Rachel and Brendan, so I think she's going to want to give them a pity vote. However, if I can convince Portia that it's not in her best interest, just for a safety vote, and hey, just to stick it to them, why not? The next thing is so rough. Where do you personally stand after this? It sucks because obviously... Rachel wants me to vote to keep Brendan in. I want to, you know, be there for her as a friend. Because it would suck to be separated from your man. Obviously, he wants to still be here. To because play with he her. have a better chance. I feel like I have your back in this game, and I want you to know that. And obviously, it would be great to have that back. Brendan and Rachel tried to cop so many deals with me where it's like, even if I left them in the house, I'd still get screwed over. And you're going to get screwed over. Everybody is because they will lie to every single person to get what they want. They're literally like trying to sell their first child. Hey. Hey. What are you guys doing? Okay. No, I was just thinking that you're doing. First thing you know, you want to talk girl talk? No, mm, it's okay. How are you? I feel like you talk. Why are you leaving? Because I'm not going to have a She thinks we're going to get snuck around. A oh, shocker. Portia is my closest friend in this house besides Brendan, and the thought of Portia switching sides and voting out Brendan and hanging out with Danielle drives me insane. Side or are you on their side? I'm on your side, Rachel. I'm just trying to make sure that people aren't going to be mad at us. They can't go around being all wolfy and stuff now because you're still going to be here. Whether he's not or whatever. Well, she is fine, right? Tell her it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's not, it's not. But I tell her she needs to not be sad and make people feel uncomfortable because people have to still be comfortable with her and she needs to start pulling it, pulling it together. You know what? Baby, what are you so doing? Ridiculous. Leave me alone. I'm going to sit in the hammock. 
Why would you say that? I was just letting her know. Brendan, just stop it. Just please stop. Obviously, no one's going to vote for us. Obviously, I'm going to be fighting this entire house by myself, just like last summer. Just, who cares? Let me just get evicted, self-evict, or evict, or whatever. I yeah. Yes, you did. You made a mistake by ever asking me to marry you. Stop it. Stop talking like that. I'm not, that's unacceptable. I ruined everything. Stop. You do not ruin everything. You made me more happier than I've ever been in my whole life. When I get out of the house this summer, people are going to hate me more. No, you're not. Yes, they are. You're I'm not, not going to ever get a job. I'm not even going to tomorrow. You can't marry me. I'm with you tonight. <laughs> you spent the past week as an elf. Will you ever be able to live this down with your heavy metal friends back in Jersey? You know, honestly, uh, Ronnie James Dio, a late great Ronnie James Dio was in a band called Elf and he was a little guy, so I'm just keeping the tradition alive. But first, Julie, I would like to show you a traditional elf dance. Oh. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Adam. Feel knowing that she could leave the game before you. Um, I don't, I've never spent a minute in this house without Jordan, so I don't. You know, I'm, I'm a positive thinker. I'm thinking that the best is going to happen for me, and uh, I'll deal with it if it happens. But for now, I'm thinking positive, and I can't imagine the house without Jordan. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, everyone. I'll be back in a little bit. Bye, Bye Julie. He may have left the game early, but that hasn't stopped Evil Dick from watching and critiquing his daughter's every move. I really wish Dick could stay at this video. I think it would be a very different game. But you want to make this big manipulative gameplay for people to know that she is this great game player outside of her father, and it's nothing to do with her dad. You know? Her dad probably would have done things quite different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How would things be different? Completely! There's no way in hell that it would have let Danielle play this bad of a game. In season eight, we ended up on the show together. Hello, Danielle. Danielle's my daughter. And Danielle hasn't talked to me in two years. Oh! We were one of the best alliances in Big Brother history. Congratulations, Danielle. You won the first power of Vito. Congratulations, Dan. You are the new head of council. Congratulations, Danielle. Congratulations, Dick. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We're the best team to ever play this game. Congratulations, Dick. You are the best. Danielle is trying to come out of the shadow that I cast on her in season eight so desperately. She's playing so hard, so fast. Her gameplay has been terrible. My dad was not all rainbows and unicorns for me to have him here, and I'm not saying that I can't do without him whatsoever, because I darn well know that I can. Let's talk about Dominic for a minute, shall we? All she did was lay in bed with him and grab ass, and like, oh, we're going to be in a lounge together, and da, 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 which only makes him a bigger target. She took a redo of season eight with her show mask. Instead of Nick, it's Dominic. Come on now. strategically trying to get this big scheme to backdoor Jeff. Jeff's gotta go. Wrong. She was sitting in the best position in that house. She could have waited until final eight to start working on breaking up the couples. I know she was getting bored or she was so desperate to make a big move. Uh, she screwed up in a really, really big way. Why me? Why did you make this plan? Get me out of here. On my life, it's nothing personal at all. Stupid, stupid move. I've teamed up with you two trying to push everybody on your side. Take it out of your dick. 
Danielle has a lot of ground to make up in order to get her game back on track. The thing that Danielle does have going for her is she's a competitor, she will fight, and she won't stop. And she's back in the game, folks. Everybody asks this question, without me in the house, does Danielle still have a shot at winning? Galaxy. Yeah, of course she does. But it's going to be very, very hard for her to do. There's no other option except for winning. Just keep that in your head. Coming up, it's the live book. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's the last hour of Danielle's reign as head of household. Let's talk to her privately in the HOH bedroom. Hi, Danielle. Hey, Julie. Your housemates are all downstairs in the living room. They can't hear you, so please speak your mind, all right? Okay. You were aligned with the veterans at the start and oh. seemed to be in a good position, kind of off the radar. Oh. You decided to make a big move by targeting Jeff. Yes. You got caught. Yes. Do you regret it? Um, the only thing I regret is probably making the move about two weeks too soon. I don't regret making a big move. I'm here to make big moves. I'm here to take big risks, and that's the only way you're going to win this game. I just regret the timing because, unfortunately, it did cost Dominic his game, and I am truthfully, like, so, so sad about that. What do you think your father would say about the way you're playing the game right now? Um, I actually keep thinking about that. I'm probably thinking he's watching the feeds, thinking I'm absolutely insane. <laughs> but coming from one insane person to me, it's fine. Um, I think that he definitely backs me up in everything that I'm doing. Um, I mean, I might be making crazy moves or doing things that I probably shouldn't here and there, but I'm playing to the best of my ability, and I know that he supports that. Do you think it's possible to mend fences and work together? Um, I think absolutely not. Not on my account, but only on hers. I feel that she feels that I'm splitting up a marriage, not a couple in the house. And that's her problem in this game, is she's only going to play personal and attack people on a personal level and take everything that way. So her rest of this game is going to be to get me out of this house and probably kill me after the show. But I'll take it. Um, I'm here to do that, and I'm ready for it. Thank you, Danielle. And you can head back downstairs and rejoin your housemates. Thank you. To find out who will be leaving the house tonight. Will it be Brendan, the PhD student, or Jordan, the former Big Brother winner? Let's return to the living room and talk with the two nominees. I'd like to tell uh, my family and Rachel's family that we love and miss you very much. And I am very thankful for the opportunity to have been able to come back in the Big Brother house and to have been able to fight alongside my best friend and my soulmate, and I'm not going to cry. Um, I just want to say that it has been the most amazing experience. And for her <laughs> to have me as her Big Brother husband um, is honoring. And uh, I want to remind her that if I leave today, that I know she will fight very hard, and she will represent both of us, and you can do it. So always believe in yourself, I'm with you, no matter what. All right, thank you. Thank you, Brendan. This has been a long week, and very stressful. I think you all know I want to be here. I came, part of the reason why I came here was to spend the summer with Jeff. It's been a pleasure meeting everyone. Um, I love you all. I think this is a great cast, and just vote who you think will get you further in the game. And that's it. More <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Thank you both. It is time for the live voting to begin. Danielle, as head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote to evict. Jeff, you're up first. Please go to the diary room. <coughs> Hi, Jeff. Hello, Judy. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Brendan. Hi, Rachel. Hey. Please uh, cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Jordan. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, brother, the house guests are voting live to evict either Brendan or Jordan. With one vote each, it's currently a tie, but the newbies have yet to vote. Kalia and Danielle have become fast friends. Will she support Danielle's wish to send Brendan packing? Hi, Kalia. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Brendan. Thank you, Kalia. Hi there, Adam. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. Sorry, man. Brendan, I vote to evict Brendan. Thank you, Adam. Hi, Portia. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I regretfully vote to evict Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Luan. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict. 
I vote to evict Brendan. Thank you, LeBron. Brendan will leave the house tonight, but let's see how Shelly votes. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Brendan. Thank you, Shelly. Votes are in. Let's give the news to the house guests. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather his or her belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of five to two, Jordan, you are safe. Brendan, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I don't be offended. I will. I love you all. We'll see you for now. I got a gorgeous fiance. Mm -hmm. instead of yourself. Why? Well, you know, it's a crazy thing. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit of a baby at times. Uh, she did everything to me, and I would do it a thousand times over. She um, would have done it for me last year she, without even knowing me, so I would do it again and again. Was it strictly love, or was it partly gameplay? Was there a belief that she could go farther in this game than you could? Uh, I, I mean, yes and no. I mean, there's two parts. A, obviously I would do it for her because she is the love of my life. But B, I knew up against anyone else in this house, she probably would have had a bigger chance of going home than I would. So what do you think Danielle's future is in this game, then? Uh, I, I honestly think she'll probably make it for a few more weeks, but she'll eventually be taken out. Do you think Rachel's gunning for her? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put, 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 I can put my money on yeah, that one. Put your money on it. Well, in the event that you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates take some goodbye messages. Right. Let's listen. Oh, Brendan. I am so happy you're seeing this message. I genuinely have no clue why you're so arrogant. There are a lot of things that are easier than rocket science. Apparently, getting you out of this house is one of them. <laughs> I hope we get an invitation to y'all's wedding. Since Jeff won $10,000, y'all will definitely be getting a good wedding gift. Uh, not the whole $10,000, just a little bit. And as Rachel would say, we love you, Brad. <laughs> Brendan, what can I say? You felt it was your best gameplay to split up me from my closest ally, Dominic, and what goes around comes around. Maybe if your tongue wasn't so busy with just one house guest, you could have been making deals with everybody else in the house. I and Rachel will be apart since meeting in the house last yeah. summer. Are you going to be okay? I am. It's, it's, it's a little tough thinking about it, but yeah, I'll make it. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank, you. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you. Well, last week we told the house guests that there could be a new twist in the game. It's time to shake things up. House guests, please gather quickly in the living room. <laughs> Remember last week when I warned you that the twists were far from over? Oh. <laughs> well, house guests, think 
carefully about how you play the game this week because the next house guest to be evicted will have a chance to get back in the game. That's all I'm telling you for now. What the house guests don't know is that the first four evictees have not seen each other and have been completely isolated from the outside world. That's because one of them will battle next week's evicted house guest live. The winner gets back into the house and back into the game. Here's how you can get involved. An evicted house guest will be re-entering the Big Brother game. And you have the opportunity to give your favorite a second chance. Tell us who you would like to see back in the house. The power is in your hands, America. Text the number of your selection 